Yes, SE family, breaking news, man. Breaking news. We've got another bit of news that I need to share with you. It's absolutely crazy. Listen, this stuff never ends. I'm telling you now, Etsy's like one of them episodes, the movies, them, them like, like, I don't know. It's just one of them things that just are never ending. Science happening every day and it's crazy. It almost needs a new channel, another channel just for news, but this is mad. Check this out, man. Look, Etsy are looking to deactivate hundreds or thousands of accounts, right? Now, I think this is amazing news, personally. I think this is fabuloso. Well, you got to understand the context, right? It's not just like deactivating for the fun of it. It's all about deactivating these dead or dying or inactive stores that are just clogging up the platform, man. Clogging up this platform. It's crazy how many people have got all these stores that are just doing nothing, sitting there. And all of that is just clogging up the system. And you know what? For this one, I don't actually blame them for doing it. But guys, before I get going with this amazing bit of news, if you love SE products, you love creating, researching, listing, and all of that mad, 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 crazy stuff, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. And please share, because you know what? If you want updates on news or you want to know how to do certain things on Etsy, then this is the place to be, man. Go hit that notification bell. Anyways, check this out, man. Check this out. Look at that. It says, as part of Etsy's ongoing fight against the onslaught. Now, this is the reason why they're doing it. As part of Etsy's ongoing fight. Well, they're calling it like a battle. An ongoing fight against the onslaught of fraud and scams. They will be reaching out to shops that have been inactive for four or more years. Now, listen, that is fair. Come on, please just tell me that is fair. If you've been inactive for four or more years, you like, you're literally don't want to do this anymore. You literally want to actually stop selling. So four or more years, you know what? If they said six months, I'd be like, nah, but four years is fair, man. I think four years is fair. So sellers whose shops are considered inactive will get a heads up via email 90 days before their shops will be closed. That is another, you know, that's decent. I've heard a lot of madness recently from Etsy, but you know what? This is kind of fair. I do like it. You get a 90 day notice if they want to tell you to, that they're going to tell you they're going to close your store permanently. And that's only if you've been inactive for about four years. Now, come on, please tell me in the comments below. Is that fair or unfair? Come on, tell me, please be honest with me. Is it fair or unfair? I think it's fair. Now, it says this could be a smart security move as dormant accounts tend to be a higher risk for account takeover attempts. Now, this is interesting. Like we've seen with triangulation fraud on eBay, but as e-commerce consultant and SE seller points out in a post etsy historic problems with communication could make this difficult to <laughs> that's hilarious yeah trust me they do have some uh, communication issues man they need to be chatting a little bit better we don't if that's a lack of that communication right so look they're talking about in a move that will be all too familiar to says with or who also sounded Etsy will now be taking a seller's historical shipping times into consideration, playing delivery estimates, blah, blah, blah. So, um, I think personally, look, I think it's a really good idea. Amount of inactive, dead, dying shops out there on the Etsy platform is absolutely disgusting. It's crazy. And like, I just think obviously that that must be creating some kind of effect on the platform. And And you know what? To be honest with you, look, it's saying the onslaught. Look, as part of Etsy's ongoing fight against an onslaught of fraud and I'm glad they realized that it's an actual, like, it's a crazy, this fraud and scamming that is going on on Etsy is still there, it's still strong, and I keep hearing it on a daily basis, like, from people like, I mean, tell me in the comments below, have you had any scams or, or people reaching out to you that are possible scams lately? Because I can guarantee you something. It's going on right now. And this is, and it's good that the Etsy is recognizing this and they're actually trying to do something. something. So I do think this is one way of addressing 
these fraudsters and scammers on the system. I guess this is definitely one way because they can take over these inactive stores or they can use inactive stores, I guess, in some way um, to fool um, actual real sellers out there. So, you know what? I think that is a decent step. But personally, I think there's way, 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 way more they can do to actually help stop these fraudsters and scammers you know what um and it's gonna be one of them things where look online business is growing um online selling is growing so it does it, it kind of i understand why scamming has grown massively but you know as a seller as as etsy sellers we're already got a lot of things to deal with like we got watch out for the scammers watch out for like etsy trying to you know suspend or close down for like random reasons watch out for making sure that you know um we're we're a viable business anyway because you know making sure that we're on top of what's going on around us competition um help making sure customers are happy you know the thing is the etsy uh, i mean online business i'm not going to just say etsy online business in general is very difficult you know is very difficult and there are already many many things that we have to be aware of right we've got to keep to on, on top of trends making sure that we're consistently changing improving developing you know this is this is huge so this is why i keep saying like i keep saying that as etsy sellers you know we do need to come together and we do need to share ideas and we do need to talk we do need to talk and you know what i'm gonna be i'm setting up a discord for for people to share ideas to talk almost like a, a community of etsy sellers so do check out uh the link to this because this is opening up and i want everybody to come into this because it's a it's going to be a fantastic hub to share ideas um and also to share that knowledge you know and to to, for people to help other people like you know um i think it's very important i think it's vital that we come together and uh and people talk but yeah coming back to this news my yep they are gonna shut them down and they're gonna shut them down quickly i'm happy about this particular thing i've not been happy about a lot of things that etsy's doing but this one is actually very good very fair Plenty of time to maybe check people if they want to change their mind and and start selling again. Look, you got a, you know a ninety day window, to, you know to actually um, maybe start selling. You know, so look out for those uh, messages that come through about this. They probably actually started coming through, but let me know if you got any messaging. Any if your store is inactive, if your store is dormant or inactive um let me know if you've received anything from etsy i'd really be interested to know and also let me know if you've just kind of what you what your thoughts are on this and what else do you think that etsy could do to kind of stop these you know onslaught as they call it of fraudsters and scammers because that's what they're calling it and that's what it is so yeah guys look out for more of my etsy news Click the link, look at my playlist of all those Etsy news items that I've spoken about recently. And please stay in touch, my stay in touch. And I shall see you on the next bit of news. Take care.